Uh, let us start the session. Today we are going to start case study based questions from chapter number 8, Introduction to Trigonometry. So let us start with the first question, case study question number 1. This is already we did in sample paper, uh, test, sample paper test number 3. Raj is an electrician in a village. One day power was not there in entire village and villagers called Raj to repair the fault. After thorough inspection he found an electric fault in one of the electric pole of height 5 meter and he has to repair it. He needs to reach a point 1.3 meter below the top of the pole. Uh, so this uh, distance is given 1.3 uh, to undertake the repair work. So let us start with the first question. When the ladder is inclined at an angle of alpha such that three, uh, root 3 tan alpha plus 2 is equals to 5 to the horizontal find the angle alpha. So root 3 tan alpha plus 2 is equal to 5 is given. Now shift plus 2 to this side. It will become minus 2 and we are getting 3. And 3 by root 3 is uh, root, root 3. Right. Root three. So tan alpha mein root 3 kaun angle mein aata hai? Tan 60 degree. Tan 60 degree. Right. So we will compare the angle and we will get alpha is equal to 60 degree. And the correct option is Option, option C. C. Right. C. Now we are moving toward question number two. How far from the foot of the pole should be should he place the foot of the ladder? Means we have to find DC. So uske liye BD nikalna padega. So total uh, this length is given five meter, the height of the pole, and this is given uh, one point three. So we'll find BD is equals to ye one point three hai aur ye five hai. So 5 minus 1.3 will get 3.7. Right. Now in this triangle we need to find DC and BD is given. BD we got 3.5, uh, 3.7. Now with respect to alpha this is opposite side and we have to find adjacent side. Right. So which trigonometric ratio we, we can use here? Tan theta. Right. Uh, we can use either tan theta or cot theta but here we are using tan theta. So tan 60 degree, we got alpha is equal to 60 degree. Tan 60 degree is equal to BD upon DC. And what is the value of tan 60 degree? Root, root 3. 3. And BD is 3.7 upon DC. And root 3 value is given 1.73. So DC will be 3.7 upon 1.73. That is approximately equals to 2.14 meter. And the correct option is option B. Third question. In the above situation, find the value of sin alpha cos alpha by 2 minus cos alpha sin alpha by 2. So alpha is 60 degrees. So alpha by 2 will be 30. 30. 30. Right. 30. Right. So we'll substitute all the values. So sin 60, what is sin 60? Root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2. Cos 30. Root 3 by 2. Cos 60. 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Sin 30 degree. One by two. So we'll substitute all the values. So this will become three by four, and this will become one by four. Okay, three by four minus one by four is two by four. Two by four. Or simplify it, one by two aayega. So the correct option is C. Option, option, option C. C. Now we are moving toward question number four. In the above situation, if BD is equal to three centimeter, BC is equal to six centimeter, find alpha. Suppose a chota sa aise model bana ke rakhein. That is why the unit uh, taken as centimeter. Okay. So BD is given, BC is given, we need to find alpha. This is a general question only. So uh, we are going to take uh, which trigonometric ratio? Oh, no, BC, this, this is given. Opposite the hour or hypotenuse the hour. So we are going to sin theta. Sin theta. Sin theta. So BD is equals to 3 cm, BC is equals to 6 cm, sin alpha is equals to opposite by hypotenuse that is BD upon BC. And BD is 3 and BC is 6. So 3 by 6 is 1 by 2. And 1 by 2 cons angle me aata sin me? Sin 30, 30, 30, degree. Sin 30 degree. Right. So we'll compare these two and we are getting alpha is equals to 30 degree. And the correct option is option, 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 option. Right. So now we are moving toward the last question. Uh, 15 given that 15 cot alpha is equal to 8 find sin alpha so cot alpha ho jayega 8 upon 15 right so dc will be 8 
दैट इज एड कॉट होता है एडजस्टेंट अपॉन ऑपोजिट एंड बी डी विल बी फिफ्टीन ओके तो यहाँ पे अगर एग्जाम में ये क्वेश्चन आता है तो एट और फिफ्टीन के साथ में थर्ड नंबर क्या होगा तो ट्रिपलेट के लिए सेवनटीन होगा सो बिना सॉल्व के भी रख सकते हो अदरवाइज अभी मुझे समझाना है तो मैं स्टेप्स uh, लेकर आऊँ By Pythagoras theorem, we are getting BC square is equals to BD square plus DC square. Uh, this is 15 square and this is 8 square. So we are getting 225 plus 64, 289. And the square root of 289 is 17. 17. यहाँ पे square छोड़ गया. Right. So ये uh, 17 आ गया. अब हम लोग को sine alpha निकालना है. Sine alpha is opposite upon hypotenuse. So 15 upon 17 we are getting. And the correct option is option D. Okay. Now we are moving toward the next case study question. Sky sales is that uh, genre of uh, uh, engineering science that uses extensive utilization of wind energy to move a vessel in the sea, sea water. The sky sales technology allows the towing kite to uh, gain a height of anything between 100 meter to 300 meters. The sailing kite is uh, Uh, made in such a way that it can be raised to its proper elevation and then brought back with the help of a telescopic mast that enables the kite to be raised properly and effectively so based on this uh, uh, figure related to sky sailing we uh, you have to answer the question so let us start with the first question in the given figure if root 3 tan 2 theta Minus three is equals to zero, where theta is an acute angle. Then find the value of theta. So first, what we will do? We will shift minus three to this side, so it will become three. Now three upon uh, root three will be root three. Root three. Root three. Right. And root three comes in sixty degree. Okay. So two theta is equals to sixty degree. So what is the value of theta? Thirty degree. Right. So theta is equals to thirty degree, and the correct option is option B. Option B. Right. So now we are moving toward question number two. What should be the length of the rope of the kite sail in order to pull the ship at and at the angle uh, calculated above, that is thirty uh, degree. Okay, and be at a vertical height of three hundred meter. So three hundred meter, ये वाला vertical height हो गया. and we have to find uh, this row so which trigonometric ratio we have to use sin sin so ab is equals to 300 it is given so in this triangle sin theta that is sin 30 degree is equals to ab upon ac and what is the value of sin 30 degree 1 by 2 1 by 2 right and uh, ab is 300 given right so 1 by 2 is equals to uh, 300 upon AC. Now cross multiplication. On cross multiplication, you'll get AC is equals to 600 meter. Right. And the correct option is option B. Right. Next question. What should be the distance BC in order to pull the ship at the angle calculated above and be a vertical height of 300 meter? Now we have to find BC. And opposite is given. We we need to find the adjacent side. So which trigonometric ratio will use? And theta. And theta. Right. So see both the questions are same. So we can we can use cos theta also because AC we got six hundred meter. ठीक है मतलब निकाल use कर सकते हो not necessary. So now we are using tan theta. So tan thirty degrees equals to AB upon BC. And uh, the value of tan thirty degree is one by root three. Okay, so one by root three is equals to three hundred upon BC. Now, if you cross multiply, you will get BC is equals to three hundred. You will get BC is equals to three hundred root three. So the correct option is option A. Option, option A. Right. So now we are moving toward question number four. If BC is equals to hundred meter. And theta is equals to sixty degree. Then AB. So now BC is given hundred in this question, and we have to find AC, AB. So again, we we have to use uh, tan theta. So tan sixty degree is equals to AB upon BC, and uh, the value of tan sixty degree is root of root three. BC is given hundred. 
So root three is equals to a b upon hundred. Now on cross multiplication, you will get a b is equals to hundred. Hundred right. And the correct option is option, option a. Option. Right. Now fifth question. If the length of the rope a c is equals to two hundred meter, and uh, theta is equals to thirty degree, then the vertical height a b. So now in this time, uh, in this uh, question, hypotenuse is given and opposite. Side we have to find. So which trigonometric ratio we will use? Sine theta. Sin theta. Sin theta. Right. So sine thirty degree is equals to uh, AB upon AC, and the value of sine thirty degree is one by two. One. And uh, AB upon AC is given two hundred. Right. So, हम लोग ये cancel कर सकते हैं, and uh, finally we'll get AB is equals to hundred meter. Okay. And the correct option is. Option C. Right. So now we are moving toward the next question. Kings and queens used the tower in times of trouble to protect their positions and themselves. Arms and armor were made, tested, and scored, uh, stored here until the uh, 1800s. The tower also controlled the supply of the nation's money. All coins of the realm were made at the tower mint from the reign of Edward uh, until. One eighty, sir, eighteen ten, right? Kings and queens also locked away their valuables and jewels at the tower, and even today the crown jewels are protected by a garrison of soldiers. A tower stands vertically on the ground, from a point uh, on the ground which is fifteen meter away from the foot of the tower. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is found to be sixty degrees. See this figure. Now, based on this context, a uh, few questions are there. So, let us start with the first question. Find the height of the tower. See, this is given 15, huh? This is given 15, and we have to find AB. So, adjacent side is given, and opposite side we have to find. So, we will use which trigonometric ratio? Tan. 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 Right. Tan 60 degrees equals to AB upon BC, and this is root 3, AB upon 15. So we'll get AB is equals to 15 root 3, and the correct option is option B. Option B. All right. Now next question: In the above tower, cast a shadow of 2 root 3 meter on the ground. When sun's elevation is 60 degree, the height of the tower is dash. Question is clear. Means now 15 नहीं दिया हुआ. अभी दिया हुआ 2 root 3. ठीक है? 2 root 3. Again, we have to find AB. So same trigonometric ratio, tan theta we are using. So in triangle ABC, tan 60 degrees equals to AB by BC. This is root 3. BC is 2 root 3. Now 2 root 3 into root 3 will be 6. 2 into 3. 6. Right. Uh, the correct option is option D. Right. Now we are moving towards the next question. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point on the ground 30 meter away uh, from the foot of the tower is 30 degree. So, यहाँ पे angle of elevation 30 degree दिया हुआ है, okay? And uh, uh, this distance is given 30 meter. And again, we need to find the height of the tower. So, same trigonometric ratio, tan 30 degree we are using AB upon BC. And what is tan 30 degree? One by root one by root three. And BC is given 30. Okay, so AB will be 30 by root three. That is tan root three. And the correct option is option C. Option C. Right. In the above situation, if AB is equals to 30 meter, and AC is equals to 60 meter, so that means opposite side and hypotenuse is given. We have to find angle A. So, which trigonometric ratio will use? Cos theta. Cos, Cos theta. theta. Right. So, with respect to angle A, this is the adjacent side, right? And with respect to angle A, this is hypotenuse. So, we'll use cos A. Cos A is equals to AB upon AC, and AB is thirty, and AC is sixty. So, thirty by sixty is nothing but one by two. And one by two comes in uh, cos sixty degree. Cos sixty. So angle A is equals to sixty degree. So correct option is option B. Right. So now we are moving towards question number five. If 
2 cos 3 theta is equal to 1, then theta is equal to dash. So, cos 3 theta is 1 by 2, and 1 by 2 comes in 60 degree, right? So, now we will equ 60. equate these two angles. So, 3 theta is equal to 60 degree. So, what is the value of theta? 20, 20, degree. 20, 20 degree. degree. Right. And the correct option is option, option D. D. Right. So, now we are moving toward case study question number 4. The circus arts program is one of the most popular activities at Camp Lohi Khan. Uh, it brings a level of excitement and enthusiasm to a camp experience that can't be found at home or in school. A circus artist is climbing 20 meter rope, long rope, which is tightly stretched and tied from the top of the vertical pole to the ground such that the angle uh, made by the rope with the ground, this angle, is 30 degree. Right? So now based on this uh, uh, situation, uh, we are going to answer the following questions. Find the height of the pole. Right? So here, uh, AC is given 20. Right? 20 meter and we need to find this one and this angle is given 30 degree. So with respect to this angle, opposite side is given and uh, we have to find an adjust uh, hypotenuse is given. So which trigonometric ratio will use? Sine theta. Sin theta. Sin theta. Right, very good. Sine 30 degrees equals to AB upon AC and sine 30 is half AB upon 20. So AB will be, uh, is, uh, AB is equals to 10 meter. Enders. And the correct option is option, option D. D. Right. Now, the next question. In the above situation, if AB is equal to 5 meter, angle ACB is equal to 30 degree, then find the length of BC. See, AB 5 the hour, matlab opposite side, and we need to find adjacent side. So, which trigonometric ratio will use? Opposite. Yeah. Opposite, yeah, cot or tan. Okay, so we are using tan 30 degree. So tan 30 degree is equal to AB upon BC. And uh, what is the value of tan 30 degree? 1 by root 3. 1 by root 3. By and root AB three. is given 5. We have to find BC. So on cross multiplication, we are going to get BC is, is equal to 5, five root, root 3. three. Right. Oh, you BC. Okay. Correct. Right. Now we are moving toward the next question, question number 3. In the above situation, if the height of the pole is 3 meter and the length of the rope is 6 meter, then find angle ACB. That means uh, opposite is given and hypotenuse is given. So we will use trigonometry. Uh, which trigonometric ratio? Sin theta. Sin theta. Sin theta. Right. So sin C is equal to AB upon AC and AB is 3. AC is 6, so 3 by 6 is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 comes in which uh, angle? Sin 30 degree. Sin 30 degree. 30 degree. Right. So angle C is equal to uh, 30 degree. 30 and the degree. correct option is option, option, option C. C. Right. So now we are moving toward the next question. Find the value of 2 tan square 45 degree plus cos square 30 degree minus sin square 60 degree. So what is tan 45? 1. 1. Cos 30. Root 3 by 2. Sin 60. Root 3 by 2. Right. So we'll substitute all the values. So this will become 2, 2 into 1, and this will become 3 by 4. This will become 3 by 4. So this 2 will be cancelled, and we are getting only 2. And the final option is option B. Option B. Right. So now we are moving toward the last question. If 3 tan 2 theta minus root 3 is equal to 0. Then, then theta is equal to dash. So we'll substitute, we'll shift uh, uh, root three to this side. Okay. Now uh, root three upon three, it will be root one by root one by root, by root three upon three. So it will be one by root three. So one by root three comes in which angle? Thirty degree. Thirty degree. Right. So now we'll compare the angles. So we'll get two theta is equal to thirty degree. So what is the value of theta? 15 degrees. 15 degrees. 15 degree, right. So the correct option is option A. Option A. Right. So now we are moving toward the next case study question number 5. Kite flying is also a major part of Makar Sankranti. Although the states of Gujarat and Rajasthan indulge in this with a lot more 
enthusiasm. Makar Sankranti is a major harvest festival celebrated in India and is dedicated to the sun god Surya. It is the first major festival to be celebrated in India and usually take, takes place in January. This year the festival will be celebrated on January 14. Aditya flying a kite at an height of 60 meter above the ground. He attached the string to a kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground here. Uh, the inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degree. So this is the situation. Now based on this situation, uh, some questions are there. Right. So in the above situation, find the length of the string. So we have to find the length of this string. And opposite side is given with respect to this angle. So which trigonometric ratio will you use? Sin theta. Right. Sin. Very good. So sin 60 degrees equals to PQ upon OP. And what is the value of sine 60 degree? Three root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2. PQ is 60 uh, and OP we have to find. Right. So, dhyan se dekho. Ye dono multiply ho jayega 120. Aur ye dono ko interchange kar do. So, we will get this one. Right. So, if 120 we can write 40 into 3. And 3 we, if we divide it by root 3 we will get root 3. So, final answer is 40 root 3. And the correct option is option, option B. B. Right. Now the next question, the string of a kite is 100 meter long and it's make an angle 60 degree with the horizontal. If there is no slack in the string, the height of the kite from the ground. So now in this case, uh, hypotenuse is given and height we have to find. Right. So same trigonometric ratio, uh, opposite we have to find. So sin 60 degrees equals to PQ upon OP sin 60 degree root 3 by 2. Now in this case PQ we have to find. Uh, PQ is given sorry. Nee, correct. PQ we have to find height and OP is given. So cross multiply karenge. Ya to isko yehi pe cancel kar lo. 50. So PQ is equals to 50 root 3. And the correct option is option A. Option A. Right. So now we are moving towards the next question. A kite is flying at a height of 30 meter uh, from the ground. The length of the string uh, from the kite to the ground is 60 meter. Assuming that there is no slack in the string, the angle of elevation of the kite at the ground is dash. So in this case, the height is given 30 meter and uh, the string length of string is 60 meter. So opposite and hypotenuse is given. So we are using sin. Sin O is equals to PQ upon OP and this is 30 and this is 60. So 30 upon 60 is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 comes in which angle? Sin 30, 30 degree. Sin 30 degree. Right. So angle O that is POQ is 30 degree. So the correct option is option, option, D. option D. Right. Now the next question, the value of sin square 30 degree minus Sec, uh, square 60 degree plus 4 cot square 45 degree. So what is the value of sine 30? 1 by 2. Sec 60 degree 2. Cos 60 two. 1 by 2 hota hai na? So sec 60 2 hoga. Cot 45 1. 1. One. Right. So we are going to substitute all the values. So this will become 1 by 4 and this will become minus 4. This will become plus 4. So this 2 will be cancelled. And finally, we'll get 1 by 4 only. And the correct option is option, option C. C. Right. So now we are moving toward the next question. If 2 sine 2 theta is equals to root 3, uh, then theta is equals to dash. So sine 2 theta root 3 by 2 jayega. Root 3 by 2 kaun angle mein aata hai? Sine mein? Sine 60 degree. Right. Sine 60 degree. So 2 theta is equals to 60 degree ho jayega. So what is the value of theta? 30 degree. 30 degree, right. And the correct option is option, option, option A. A. Right. So now we are moving toward the next case study question number 6. Suppose a girl is sitting on the balcony of her house located on the bank of a river. She is looking down at a flower pot uh, here placed on a stair of a temple situated nearby on the other bank of the river. A right triangle is imagined to be made in this situation as shown in this figure. If the height uh, at which the person is sitting is known, 
the width of the river can be calculated by using this right triangle okay so based on this situation now few questions are there if the height of her house is 12 meter and the distance between uh, means this is given 12 and the distance between her house and the river is 5 meter this one okay so what will be the value of theta this is the theta so again uh, opposite side and adjacent side is given so which trigonometric ratio will use and theta of what theta No, no, no. Here, sine theta value is not given. What will be the value of sine theta? So, sine theta के लिए हम लोग को पहले तो ये वाला निकालना पड़ेगा. AC. So, AC कितना होगा? Thirteen. 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 Right. क्योंकि five और twelve और thirteen Pythagorean triplet होता है. Right. So, sine theta is equals to AB upon AC. Right. हाँ, AB upon AC. This is AC. So we'll get uh, 12 upon 13. 13. Jaldi jaldi mein mistake ho gaya. I have not checked this one. Okay, fine. So the correct option is 12 by 13 and uh, option A. Right. Now we are moving toward the next question. If the width of the river is 15 meter and angle C is equal to 30 degree, then what will be the height of the building? So in this case, BC is given 15 meter and height we have to find and the angle is given 60 degree. So that means we are going to find, uh, use uh, tan theta, right? Because base uh, adjacent is given and uh, opposite we have to find. So tan 60 degrees equals to AB upon BC. Tan 60 root 3 hota hai. AB we have to find and BC is given 15. So if you cross multiply, you will get 15 root 3. And the correct option is option A. Option A. Right. So now we are moving toward the next question. The value of sine 60 degree cos 30 degree plus cos 60 degree sine 30 degree is dash. So we'll substitute all the values. So what is sine 60 degree? 3 by 2. Cos 30 degree? 3 by 2. Cos 60 degree? 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Sine 30 is also 1 by 2. One so by we'll two. substitute all the values, right? So this will become 3 by 4 and this will become 1 by 4. So 3 by 4, 1 by 4. So we'll kya karenge? Numerator ko add karenge. That is 4 by 4. And the answer is one. 1. And the correct one. option is option B. Right. So no um, next question the value of tan 30 degree cos 60 degree plus tan 60 degree. Uh, sec 30 degree. So what is tan 30? 1 by root 3. Cos 6 60? 2 by root 3. Very good. Tan 60 degree? 2 3. Root 3. Sec 30 degree? 2 by root 3. Very good. So uh, now we'll substitute all the values. So this will become 2 by 3. Right? And uh, here root 3, root 3 will be cancelled. So 2 by 3 plus 2. If you take LCM, you will get 2 plus 6 by 3 and that is 8, eight by 3, three. Right. Eight eight and the correct option is option C. Option option C. C. Right. So now we are moving towards the uh, last question. If 2 sin 3 theta is equal to root 3, then theta is equal to dash. So sin 3 theta is equal to root 3 by 2, which is sin 60 degree. Hota hai. Uh, 8 minute 4 theta is equal to right. So we have 4 karna padega. So now 4 theta and 60 degree we will compare. Uh, so theta is equal to 15 degree. The third option is option D. Option D. Right. So now we are moving toward the next case study question number 7. Giza is most famous as the location of Giza Plateau, the site of some of the most impressive ancient monuments in the world, including a complex of ancient Egypt Egyptian. Uh, royal mortuary and sacred structures including great sphinx, the great pyramid of Giza and a number of other large pyramids and temples. Once a student of Egypt went to a place named Giza. In this place there are a lot of pyramids. He saw a pyramid is having 60 meter height. Okay, So imagine this situation and uh, based on this situation now we are going to start the first question. Question number one. 
if the hypotenuse makes a 60 degree angle to the base of the pyramid uh, then what will be the base of the pyramid so here uh, 60 meter height is given okay and this angle is given 60 degree and we need to find bc so we'll use tan 60 degree tan 60 degree is equals to ab upon bc the value of tan 60 degree is equals to root 3 so ab is 60 now we will interchange this two so if you interchange this two we'll get bc is equals to 60, 60 by root 3 60 ko hum log lik sakte hai, 20 into 3 and if you divide 3 by root 3 you will get root 3 okay so final answer is 20 root 3 and uh, the correct option is option b option b, b. right so now we are moving toward the next question if the hypotenuse make a uh, 45 degree angle to the base then the value of cosecant of that angle so cosec 45 degree what is the value of cosec 45 degree root 2 root 2, root two right and the correct option is option a now we are moving toward the next question if the value a uh, base length is 60 root 3 meter then hypotenuse makes an angle x degree to the base so value of x is dash so this is bc is given 60 root 3 right and uh, height is already given 60 meter so now we are going to use uh, and this angle is x degree so tan c is equals to ab upon bc right so this is 60 and this is 60 upon root 3 so 60 60 cancel ho jayega and we are getting 1 upon root 3 and that will come under uh, come in 30 degree tan 30 degree is equals to 1 upon root 3 so this will imply angle c is equals to 30 degree and the correct option is option a okay. right so now we are moving toward the next question what will be the hypotenuse if the base length is 70 meter agar base length 70 meter hoga so what will be the uh, hypotenuse so we'll use pythagoras theorem so ac square is equals to ab square plus bc square ab is 60 and bc is 70 so 60 square plus 70 square that is 3600 plus 4900 uh, 8500 so we can write 85 into 100 so we'll get ac is equals to 10 root 85 and the correct option is option option b, b right so now we are moving toward the next question the value of sine 45 degree plus cos 45 degree is dash so what is sine 45 degree one by root two cos 45 degree one by root two one by root two so one by root two plus one by root two is two times one by root two so that is two by root two and two by root two is nothing but root two, root two. and the correct option is option option c, c right so now we are moving toward the next uh, case study question number eight mohan a class 10 student is a big foodie once his mother has made a sandwich for him a thought has come into his mind by seeing a piece of sandwich he thought if he increases the base base length matlab yahan par thoda aur base length aise increase kar diya aise so he can eat the bigger part right Sabko bhuk lag raha hai. So, uh, are you able to imagine? Agar ye jitna lamba hoga, utna zyada part wo uh, ke andar ghusa sakta hai, kha sakta hai, bigger part piece of sandwich. So, this is the uh, situation. Now, based on this situation, a few questions are there. First question. If the length of base is 12 centimeter and the height is 5 centimeter, then the length of the hypotenuse of that sandwich so we'll use pythagoras theorem you can write directly what is the answer 30 30 right so kyunki mcq questions hai is liye uh, agar direct lik sakte ho to direct lik dena hai theke? only you have to bubble the correct options so here ac square is equals to ab square plus bc square so 5 square plus 12 square that is 25 plus 144 169 and the square root of 169 is 13 centimeter and the correct option is option D right so now we are moving toward the next question what will be the value of cosine of the angle between hypotenuse and the height of the sandwich right Matlab ye wala. height of the sandwich and hypotenuse ki beech mein. cosine means cos theta right so we got this one 13 
सो कॉस थीटा एडजस्टेंट अपॉन हाइपोटेन्स होता है सो दैट इज ए बी अपॉन ए सी सो ए बी इज फाइव एंड ए सी इज थर्टीन सो फाइव बाई थर्टीन एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन ए राइट सो नाउ वी आर मूविंग टूअर्ड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ ही इंक्रीजेस द बेस लेंथ टू फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर एंड द हाईपोटिन सेवनटीन सेंटीमीटर तो दिस इज द न्यू सेवनटीन और फिफ्टीन राइट सो सेवनटीन फिफ्टीन का थर्ड पाइथोगोर ट्रिपलेट नंबर क्या है एट एट एंड यू कैन मार्क बी एज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन बट मैं अभी यहाँ पे स्टेप्स के साथ समझा रहा हूँ सो बाई यूजिंग पाइथोगोर थियोरम ए सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए बी स्क्वायर प्लस बी सी स्क्वायर सो ए सी इज सेवनटीन एंड ए बी वी नीड टू फाइंड एंड बी सी इज फिफ्टीन स्क्वायर सो दिस इज टू एटी नाइन एंड दिस इज टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सो टू एटी नाइन माइनस टू ट्वेंटी फाइव इज सिक्सटी फोर and the square root of square root of 64 is 8 cm so the correct option is option b now we are moving toward question number 4 if the value of tan theta is root 3 then sin equals to dash so tan theta root 3 is given for which angle tan is root 3 60 degree 60 degree right so theta is equals to 60 degree so we have to find sin of that angle So sin sixty degree. So what is sin sixty degree? Root three by two. Right. Root three, three by two. And the correct option is option option B. B. Right. So now we are moving toward the next question. The value of tan forty five degree plus cot forty five degree. What is tan forty five? One. 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 Cot forty five. One. 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 So one plus one is two. Two. And the two. correct option is option option B. Yeah. Option B. Right. So now we are moving toward the next case study question number nine. Trigonometric functions are real functions that add the angles of a right triangle to the ratio of the lengths of two sides. In the school exhibition, a class ten student, किसी का माइक ऑन है देखो, made a cardboard ABC in the form of a right tri angle triangle to prepare a maths working model, right angle at B. AB is equals to four centimeter angle, ACB is equals to thirty degree. Now based upon the given information. Uh, answer the following question. First question: The length of AC is dash. So for AC, which trigonometric ratio will use? Sine theta. Sine theta. Sin theta. Yeah, very good. So sine thirty degrees equals to AB upon AC. So sine thirty degrees one by two. Four AB four the hour. Now cross multiply. So we are going to get AC is equals to eight centimeters. Eight centimeters. And the correct option is option D. Option D. Right. Next question: The value of sine thirty degrees dash. One by two. One by two. One by right. And the correct option is B. The length, the length of the side BC is dash. So now see, uh, BC is adjacent and opposite is given. So we are going to use tan thirty degree. That is AB upon BC. Tan thirty degree one by root three होता है and AB is four. So one by root three is equals to four upon BC cross multiply. So we'll get BC is equals to four root three. And the correct option is option option A. A. Right. So now we are moving toward next question. The value of tan A is dash. So see this angle is ninety uh, uh, degree. This angle is sixty degree. What is the value of this angle? Sixty degree. Sixty degree. Right. So. Uh, This will imply angle is equals to sixty degree. Now, what is tan sixty degree? Root three. Root three, right? And the correct option is option A. Next question: The value of sine square thirty degree plus sine square sixty degree is dash. What is sine thirty degree? One by two. Sine sixty degree. Root root two. So we'll substitute the values. So this will become one by four, and this will become three by four. So one by four plus three by four, दोनों add हो जाएगा. One plus three by four, that is four by four, and we are getting one. one. Right. And the correct option is option A. Right. So now we are moving toward the last case study question of today's session. Three friends, Anshu, Vijay, and Vishal, are playing hide and seek in a park. Anshu and Vijay hide in the shrubs, and Vishal have to find both of them. If the positions of three friends are at A, B, and C respectively, as shown in the figure, this figure, 
uh, and forms a right angle triangle such that AB is equal to 9 meter and BC is equal to 3 root 3 meter and angle B is 90 degree. Then answer the following question. So, question samaj mein aagya? Yes. Sir. Right. Yes, sir. Now, the next. The measure of angle A. So, angle A we have to find. So, opposite is given and adjacent is given. So, we'll use tan A. Tan A is BC by AB. That is 3 root 3 upon 9. Right? 3 root 3 upon 9 is uh, 1 by root 3. So, 1 by root 3 comes in which angle of tan? 30, 30, 30 degree. So, A is equals to angle A is equals to 30 degree. And the correct option is option, option A. Right. Now, the next, the measure of angle C. Right. So, angle C ke liye fir se ulta likhenge isko. Right. Ye wala angle nikalne ke liye. Already ye 30 degree nikal gaya hai. To usse bhi hum log likh sakte hai direct. 60 degree. Is that clear? But usko mein yes. uh, ye wala step yes. se bata raho. Tan C is equal to AB upon BC. That is 9 upon 3 root 3. To ye hum log ko root 3 milega. And root 3 comes in 60 degree. So, tan angle C is equal to 60 degree. Right. तो अगर मान लो बोर्ड एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन आ गया तो ये 30 डिग्री आया तो डेफिनेटली सी 60 डिग्री आएगा सॉल्व करने की जरूरत नहीं है डायरेक्ट टिक कर सकते सो नाउ वी आर मूविंग टुवर्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 द लेंथ ऑफ एसी इज डैश नाउ सी वी गॉट दिस एंगल आल्सो एंड वी गॉट दिस एंगल आल्सो राइट सो वी नीड टू फाइंड एसी सो अगर हम लोग एंगल ए को ले रहे हैं तो ये ऑपोजिट हो गया और ये हाइपोटेन्यूस राइट so we will use sin a and the value of uh, angle a is we got 30 degree right so sin 30 degree that is sin a is equals to bc upon ac and uh, sin 30 degree is equals to bc upon ac sin 30 degree is 1 by 2 and bc is 3 root 3 so if you cross multiply you will get 6 root 3 and the correct option is option d Right. Now we are moving toward the next question. Cos 2a is equal to 1. Ek minute. Ek question. Thoda se correction hai. Cos 2a is equal to question mark. Right. Now we got already a is equal to 60 degree, uh, 30 degree. Take it. So we will substitute karein hai hum Angle a is equal to 30 degree. So 2 into 30 ho jayega 60 degree. So cos 60 degree kitna hota hai? 1 by 2. 1 by one 2. Two. Right. And the correct option is option B. Option B. Now we are moving toward the last question. Sin C by 2 is equal to dash. And what was the angle of uh, angle C? We got 60. 60. 60 degree. So C by 2 means 60 by 2. Uh, that is 30 degree. Sin 30 degree is? 1 by, one by 2. 1 by 2. And the correct option is option B. So B. this is the last question of uh, today's session. So, in the next session, we will do case study based questions on probability. Uske baad areas related to circles karenge. So, that's all for today's session. Thank you. Thank you very much.